Hey everyone, Double P here. Welcome. Uh, so yesterday I had some eye issues and I had to go get uh, some eye treatments done. So I didn't do an end of the day recap for you guys at the Platinum X Power Option Trader Groups. So when that happens, I just don't do a recap. I got to get off the computer. I can't really see anything, so nothing's done. So Again, you always look in the emails and text alerts and know that sometimes uh, when I send you out a trade, uh, that's it. You got the profit and loss parameters inside of your uh, text alert and email. It's something that you should follow. So you know when and when to get out. And you're not waiting for me to send you a uh, text that's, that's saying that I'm closing out the trade. So anyways, today is uh, expiration Friday. So it's uh, Friday, November the 4th, 2022. <clears throat> so let's go over this right here. So real account, margin. You're asking why does it say partially delayed data? No problem. Click on this here. Everything's in real time. Amex, uh, NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange, real time feeds. Equity options, real time, futures and futures options. I don't trade futures, uh, so the feeds are delayed, but I can find futures with live feeds on other areas of my platform, so I don't worry about it. Forex, real time, others, real time, so full blown account. So, what do we do here? Uh, well, we draw the box. You see the box right over here. And then I took it off here because I didn't need it. So we attack the spy. Let me send out, uh, what was the text alert I sent out? So that you guys got it here, just for a recap. Uh, 375 strike put, uh, you know what we paid for it. Those of you that are watching this on social media, you don't need to know what we paid for the, con uh, for the uh, contracts. And you don't need to know how much contracts I told my guys and girls to get. So plus 20% profit, tight 15% stop loss on his option trade. These expire today. Don't hold to the end of the day. So it's expiration Friday, right? Let me just drag that down there so that you see it. It has 940 that went out. So let's go over here to 940. <clears throat> when we get into the trades. So right here, perfect position to get into the trade. So let me just increase that so that you see that there. And then I can move this over here like that. Shrink this down a little bit so it's a little bit better for you. So 940. So right here on this candle right here is my entry. Looking at this uh, inverted hammer, but it's a bullish uh I mean, sorry, it's a bearish, it's a bearish inverted hammer right there, right beside it, right here is a spinning top, right beside this here, it's not a Marabozo, but it's a, but it's a good sell side activity candle, so entry point, you see the 20 right here is green, then it turned yellow, sloping down, you see the tw uh, 200 is green, but it's sloping, and, but the 20 is dominant, so that's the, that's the moving average that we walk into. So right there, and we take the trade all the way down to here, out of the trade. Beautiful momentum, beautiful trade to the downside. Here's the option right there, 375 strike put. Uh, you see exactly uh, the high where it hits. Just a gorgeous trade, entry point right there, 940 and exit, that's the position in and out. Uh, we had a little bit of a false bear, uh, false bull rally yesterday, and then today we're right back to normal, back into the bear market that we're in. We're in a bear market, trade it as a bear market. Don't do any investing. If you're gonna do investing, you're gonna get smoked. That's just my opinion. You don't have to listen to me. Do what, do what you wanna do. Do what you want to do and, uh, you know, you've been with me long enough now. For those of you guys that have been with me long enough and grows long enough now, you know how we do things. For those of you watching this across social media, this is just my own personal opinion. 
We're in a bear market, full blown bear market. I don't do any investing whatsoever. I don't believe in dollar cost averaging down. It's a losing strategy. I mean, how far are you going to dollar cost average down until you get smoked out? Like, uh, there is going to come a point in time to do investing, absolutely, but now is not the time. So, unless you got a $100 million bank account, a trading account, where you can suck it up and, and take it, I mean, go for it. I mean, not even Bill Ackerman is dollar cost, dollar cost averaging down. Neither is Ray Dalio. So, if they're not doing it, neither is BlackRock. So, if they're not doing it, why are you doing it? <laughs> So anyways, that's it from Double P. Hope you have a good Friday. Hope you had a good trading session to my Platinum X Power Option Trader members. Uh, we're right back at it next week. I'm going to try to get a coaching call on. I might send out an email to you and uh, we'll pick it up from there. So that's it for me. Quick end of the day trading recap. You guys know what to do. The 20, the 200. Mark out support and resistance, price action, levels, and get your indicators if you use indicators up. I use Money Flow Oscillator Intraday Momentum Index and I use the MACD with prices. I'll create a module to show you exactly why I use this on the intraday for the five minute, two minute, and one minute uh, trading sessions uh, charts. And then uh, <clears throat> that's it. So I'll see you next week. Take care, everybody.